Lesson 3.1, Solving Quadratic Equations. How do you solve a quadratic equation by graphing and algebraically? Okay, so our four independent practice problems. I see that my GCF is a 1. Since my GCF is a 1 and now my A is a 1, I know that I can factor it straight into two parentheses. The only way to get W squared is a W times a W. So I now just need to find out what these two numbers are. The only way to do that is to do your A times C, somebody better add up to B list. A times C is a 26. My B is a negative 15. What two numbers multiply to give me a 26, but when I add them, I get a negative 15. Negative 13 and negative 2 multiply together to give me a positive 26. When I add these together, I get a negative 15. So the two numbers that I need are a negative 13 and a negative 2. So here's a minus 13 for my negative 13. Here's a minus 2 for my negative 2. And I just factored problem number 6. Let's look at number 8. 1, negative 1, negative 72. There's no number GCF. N squared, N, no N. There is no variable GCF. So I know my GCF is a 1. Because A is also 1, I can factor straight into a parenthesis. The only way to get n squared is to do n times n. So now I just need to figure out what these two numbers are. The only way to do that is to do your a times c. Somebody better add up to b list. a times c is a negative 72. My b is a negative 1. What two numbers multiply to give me a negative 72, but when I added them, I got a negative 1. Negative 9 and 8 multiply together to give me negative 72. When I add them together, I get a negative 1. So the two numbers I needed were the negative 9 and the 8. Negative 9 is a minus 9. A positive 8 is a plus 8. So I just factored problem number 8. Let's look at number 10. There is no GCF number in common. There is no GCF variable in common. So my GCF is a 1 which since a is 1, I can have my two parentheses. The only way to get n squared is n times n. So to figure out these two numbers, I need to do my a times c adds up to b list. a times c is a 1, my b is a negative 2. What two numbers multiply to give me a positive 1, but when I add them, I got a negative 1. Negative 1 times negative 1 multiply to give me 1. They add to give me a negative 2. So the two numbers that I needed were a negative 1 and a negative 1. So here's the minus 1 for the minus 1. That negative 1, here's my negative 1. And I just factored number 10. 12, 5, negative 25, and 30. I know that I have a GCF of 5 because I could divide everybody by 5. There is no variable GCF, so 5 is all I have. So I need to divide everybody here by 5. So if everybody got divided by 5, I now have a z squared minus 5z plus 6. There's a 5 on the outside already there. Because a is 1, this parenthesis can be factored into two parentheses. The only way to get the z squared is a z times a z. So now I just need to find out what are these two numbers. So a times c, somebody better add up to b. A times C is a 6. B was a negative 5. What two numbers multiply to give me 6, but when I add them, I get a negative 5. Negative 3 and negative 2 will multiply together to give me a positive 6. And when I add these together, I do get a negative 5. So negative 3 and negative 2 are the two numbers that I need. So here's minus 3 for the negative 3. Here's minus 2 for my negative 2, and here is number 12 fully factored.